So in this little tutorial, I just wanted to show you guys how to make a flashlight. So I put the flashlight in the Google Drive uh, attached to the de uh, description. And you'll get that. And what you want to do is drag it into your project here. So I put mine here in the Blueprint Assets folder, Flashlight. And this is what we've got here. Now you might not have the same materials because I went ahead and made a couple new materials. But for your material too, let's make some tweaks to it. So what I did was, instead of hooking it up to the base color, I instead um, I made a multiply by holding down M. And I hooked my base color into the A. And then I held down the, uh, the number 1 so that I can get a scalar value and just plug that in. And mine is set to 0.832. Then I plug those into the emissive. So now I've got an emissive color for my material too. Um, perfect. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add the flashlight to the character's hand. So uh, this is a third person character project and I've got a, my blueprint right here. So here's my character and I want the flashlight to be in their right hand. So under the mesh right here, we're going to add another static mesh. So add a static mesh. Cool. And we can call this flashlight. Now for that flashlight, we need to actually make sure that it is the same static mesh. So for that static mesh, change it to the flashlight uh, mesh. So for me, it's flashlight. It should be the same for you if you're using that. Oh no, it's gigantic. So what we need to do is change the size. Now, before we change the, si the size, I say let's go ahead and put it in the right hand of the mesh. So since it's attached to the mesh, uh, we can come over here to the parent socket and now we can find right hand. So, uh, oh man, let's see, right hand right hand there it goes hand underscore R perfect so now you see that the flashlights attached to their right hand the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure the flashlights the right size so I think it's 0.3 would be a good size to scale it down to 0.3 in all directions and that's still a little bit too big so let's try just 0.1 that's a little too small so let's try 0.2 now it'll work for me. Next thing we need to do is make sure that she's actually, or it, the character is actually holding the flashlight. I'm, I'm gonna set mine down to one point uh, or point one five actually, because that's still too big. All right, that works. Now, in order to make sure they're holding the flashlight correctly, let's pause the animation of the mesh. So click on your mesh and come over here and say pause animations. All right. Then click back on your flashlight, and we're gonna make sure the flashlight is lined up perfectly in the hand. So this is where you can get, you know, you can get it perfect. And it's really good to get it perfect at this point because then you won't ever have to move it around. So I'm going to put it like right about there. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think that's fine, actually. Cool. So compile and save. Now we got a flashlight in the hand. The next thing we need to do is add an actual light to that flashlight. So while you're on your flashlight, we can add, and we'll look for a uh, spotlight. So we're going to add that spotlight to the flashlight. Now since it's still paused and everything, we're all good. We can move this flash or the spotlight right in front, right in front of the flashlight, and make sure that the spotlight is pointed in the direction that you want it to be pointed in. So for me, it's like like that. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. All right, so as long as the light is in front of your flashlight, you're good to go. Um, we can compile and save. Now, what we want to do for this spotlight, though, let's set the intensity all the way down to zero because we want to turn that intensity on. So we'll compile and save that. And anything else that we need to do, you can change you know, your radius if you want to. But <clears throat> for testing right now, we're just going to leave it alone. So the next thing we need to do is we need to find a way to turn this flashlight on and off. Okay, so let's go back and look at our flashlight. 
So for me, material two right here, I have a duplicate and uh, made it material four. In material four, I have it translucent, uh, but I don't think we're gonna use that, so no worries. I just wanted a material that's gonna turn on and off with the light, and we'll just use um, material two. If we look at the flashlight already, it's material zero, one, and material three. And what we're gonna do is switch between material, I think it's, yeah. We're gonna switch between material three and material two when we turn on the flashlight. So, in order to do this, what we need to do first is get an input. So, come down here to your third person character. There should be a folder already called input. And we need to make a new action. So, in the actions folder, right click, select input, then input action, and we'll call this one flashlight. Perfect. Now that you got that input, let's go back one folder and in, in your inputs right here, we need to call that input. So let's add a new mapping and let's use the input flashlight. And for me, uh, on my controller, I want it to be the up. And then like on the keyboard, I want it to be uh, probably like F or something like that for flashlight, right? All right, cool. So now that we got that, we're good to go there. <clears throat> we need to now call that in our character's blueprint. So in the event graph, let's find a blank spot and we're going to call that flashlight. So right click and we're going to call flashlight. And make sure it's the input action um, right here. Now, <clears throat> On started is what we want, but we want the flashlight to go on and off. So what we need to do is on started, we need to have a flip flop. This will allow you to push the same button and make two different things happen. All right, the next thing we need to do from the flip flop is let's take this spotlight here and let's set the intensity. So remember we set the intensity to zero so when we turn it on, we need to set the intensity to like something astronomical. Like I'm gonna set mine to a hundred thousand. <laughs> All right, cool. And then another thing we can do is we can grab the flashlight and we can set the material. Now, what material index do we need to set? Let's look at that flashlight one more time. So let's look at this here. We need to set element one. So element index one. And what do we want to set it to? We want to set it to, uh, I forgot, but <laughs> let's look it up. We want to set it to material two. That's what we want to set it to. <clears throat> so 002, boom. All right, now, when the fl that's when the flashlight turns on. Now we need to handle when the flashlight turns off. So basically, you could take everything up here and copy it, copy and paste, and put it down here. Now what we need to do is set the intensity back to zero on the bottom, and then set the material back to 003. Uh, for me, that's what it was. Perfect. Compile and save. So let's look at it. When they turn the flashlight on, the intensity is going to turn on and the material is going to change. When they turn it off, the intensity is going to turn off, material is going to change. And that's exactly what we want. So let's actually test it out <clears throat> and let's make sure it works. So I'll press play here. And as you see, if, oh, you know what? <clears throat> we, didn't, we didn't unpause the animations. I'm always bad at that. So go back to your character, go to your mesh, um, and then you can come over here and unpause the animations. Compile, save, and now let's test it out. So you see the character has the flashlight in their hand, right? And you can do your tweaks to the flashlight to make sure it's pointed straight and everything, but the flashlight's in their hand, it's dark room. Let's turn it on and see if it works. So yeah, turn it on, turn it off. And there you go. There's a working flashlight for you.
in Unreal Engine. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope that you use this flashlight or you know you can make it into a torch or the time watch or whatever you want to make it into but <clears throat> I hope you learned something from this and I will holler at y'all next time. Peace.